Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to import products from Printify into your Etsy shop. Now Printify is a pretty popular and famous print-on-demand platform where you basically go ahead and select products from their wide variety of products in their catalog and upload your own designs and connect it to a shop like Etsy in this video. And once you get an order, Printify will do all the heavy lifting for you they'll print your design on the product they'll ship it to your client so let's get right to it first of all here as you can see i'm on my printify homepage. you need to go to your printify homepage and sign up or sign in with your account if you already have one and here is my store here's what you want to do in order to connect your etsy store to printify now go ahead here to my new store and then click on add a new store and here are all the platforms that are supported. Now we are going to go ahead and click on Etsy since we are going to connect an Etsy store. Here they open Etsy and you need to be signed in to your Etsy account on the same browser. Here they say that an application would like to connect to your account, that's Printify. Now you need to confirm the connection. So go to the bottom, click on Grant Access. Okay, now you need to go here to Etsy in order to finish the connection. Okay, click on get started and now click on let's do this. Okay, now what brings you to ST? Choose the reason why. Okay, I'll choose I'm mainly here to explore. Next. And here they ask you if there's anything they can help you with. Okay, I'm selling online. I need help understanding finances and fees. And you can skip this question if you want to, so I'll skip it. Okay, now click on start your shop. Okay, the shop language, shop country, shop currency. Okay, save and continue. Name your shop, I'll name it my store, for example. Okay, I cannot add spaces, so my store. My store is taken, so I'm gonna add some random digits. Okay, this is available, save and continue. Next up, need to list items or specify the items, physical items, who made them, I did. Okay, what is it, a finished product? When did you make it, made to order? Okay, save and continue. Oh, sorry, we forgot. Okay, we forgot to add the category. So here, search for a category, let's say clothing. Okay, t-shirts. Now save and continue. And here you need to stock your shop or add more details about your shop. So the titles, you can add photos and videos about the product, description for your product. Okay, and now the price and inventory, quantity, let's say 100 variations i can add variations so for example colors and sizes if i'm selling t-shirts here tags like primary color secondary color size and i can add uh, also additional tags now the details shipping settings and now the settings here the shop section renewal option and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and add these details title let's say t-shirts okay now i need to add photos and videos I'll just upload some random photos from my computer. And in the meantime, let's continue. Description. I sell awesome t-shirts. Just some random description. Okay, the price quantity, that's it. Okay, now here the core details, the physical item. Category t-shirts. Okay, now seems we have all the required fields i'm just waiting for this to upload and once the photo is uploaded as you can see you can click on save and continue okay i need to add these details so pricing if i got to add it let's say 30 dollars the shipping option let's create an option okay i can add shipping prices i can add shipping details so calculate it for me the zip code let's add some random zip code Processing, oh, one to two days. What countries? Okay, United States. Shipping service. Okay, apply. I need the add the item weight, for example, like two pounds. Length, okay, five inches, for example. Width, four inches. Height, six inches. Like random images. Okay, length should be the highest, so seven. Okay, that's good to go. Now return policy, apply for the 30 days return. Okay, now save and continue. Okay, 
Now, do this later, add more listings or more products later. And now I need to add my payment details so that customers can pay me. Okay, so I need to add these details. However, I'm just not going to do it right now, but you get the idea. You need to add your payment details and then continue with the wizard till you set up your account. Now, once you set up your account, you can go ahead here to Printify and then choose a product from the catalog. So let's say T-shirt, for example. Okay, and you have the different T-shirt options. So here you can view the style, you can view the pricing, of course. On Printify, you have more than one supplier, each with their product and their pricing. Now, we'd want to select a price that's relatively low. And here, the shipping prices are shown as well. So, you need to select, like, the lowest, like, price. However, note that once we open the product, you can see the rating of the seller. You need to choose a highly rated seller as well. So, let's say I like this one. Click on it. And it's a Printify choice, which is pretty great. And here it's top rated, lowest price, and most shipping options. So let's go with this option. Now, let's start designing the product to add your own design to it. Okay, explore myself. And here they give you like a visual of how the t-shirt will look like and where your design will be going. Now you can upload your own design. You can add only text. You can design it with AI, let the AI generate the image or the design for you. You can add graphics, simple graphics, add from my templates, or have like stock photos from Shutterstock. However, I'm going to upload a photo from my computer. Okay. It's uploading, adding to the library, and it's successfully uploaded. And here it is, my design. Now I can select other color variants other than white. So here is like ash. Here is gravel, you have many color options, red, you name it. Let's stick with red. Let's go back. And here you can edit your design. So let's close this one. And also on this t-shirt, you can print on the back side, sleeve left, sleeve right, and neck label inner. So let's add another design to the right sleeve, for example. Okay, upload from my device. And I'm going to upload another image. And now it's added. Now let's go back to the front side. If I click on the design, I can edit the positioning. I can fit to the placeholder. I can even make it bigger or smaller. However, note that the design will only fit in this area. So if you make it bigger, it'll cut parts of it. Okay, let's fit it in this area. And you can also crop your design. You can edit the pattern. You can add a pattern. You can edit or add a background. You can fit to placeholder and do everything. So here you can move it up a bit for example and let's go to the sleeve right the design that we added click on it let's make it a bit bigger okay and let's go ahead and remove the background if you want however this is on a transparent background so this is won't work or this won't work on this design this specific design okay now all looks good you can go ahead and save the product and your product is successfully created. And you can see a live preview of the product with your front design and your right sleeve design. So it looks pretty great. Now you can go ahead and connect your store and publish. Of course, if you have finished the connection process or the setup process of Etsy and the connection process or the connection will be successful, you can go ahead and publish it to your store. Or you can order a sample if you want to see a sample first before publishing. If I click on connect my store, I can here connect to Etsy and finish the connection process on Etsy. Now, we could have gone and started from the design from the beginning and in the last step, finish the connection steps with Etsy that I showed at the beginning of this video. So that's basically it. Once you get an order on Etsy for this product, you will be able to automatically let Printify do the work for you. Print it on your item and ship it and handle the package and everything.